All right, thanks, guys. Golden State's at Houston, 9 o'clock east at the Toyota Center. The Rockets are the one-and-a-half-point favorites with the total at 225-and-a-half. Currently, the Rockets are the dollar twenty-five favorites on the money line. And at the moment, just 45% of the betting public is leaning toward Houston. So look for them to shed another half a point or even flip the line if that trend continues. That could possibly happen. Now, before we get into those trends... Let's just go ahead and break down the early line movement real quick. And this uh, movement here is going to tell us a lot about what the public's thinking when it comes to this matchup here. Now, the markets open this one up with the Rockets as the $1.35 favorites to win it outright despite their convincing loss in Game 1. But similar to Game 1, the markets opened the total at that 225 and a half number, very, very consistent with game one. And when it comes to the spread, Houston opened up as the two and a half point favorites. And since those markets opened this one up, we are seeing a steady and consistent fade of the Rockets in the early going here. No real surprises after that game one loss. We're also seeing the public pound the under in the early going here after most over betters in game one lost that wager by a measly half a point. They really got burned there. Houston opened up two and a half now, one and a half. Total open 225 and a hook, now 224 and a half. Currently, Houston's $1.25, a 10 cent move downward in favor of the Warriors. And at the moment, 55% of the public bettors are leaning toward the Warriors. So look for this one to potentially flip by tip off if these betting trends continue. And speaking of the trends, they are certainly favoring the Warriors in this matchup here. 3 and 0 in their last 3, 6 and 1 in their last 7, 9 and 2 in their last 11. The Warriors are also going up against a Houston squad who's not only failed to cover their last two straight in 3 out of their last 5, but they've also struggled in games that tipped off at the current point spread. Houston's covering just 37% of their games. That tipped off at the current number, 37% at the current point spread. Now, total-wise, we barely got ourselves a winner taking the under in Game 1, uh, winning by a measly half a point. But the reality is both of these squads have been pounding the under lately. 3-1 to the under in Houston's last four, 4-0 to the under in Golden State's last for themselves. And when it comes to the public, the markets are shaded toward the under, as this one's already moved a full point downward in the early going here. All that said, though, I, I do have some concerns, and there are some serious shooters on both squads. We know who they are, and I think I got real lucky hitting that under in Game 1 by half a point. So with all those factors in mind, I'm actually going to sit this one out and fade a play on the total in this matchup here. What I won't deny is this Golden State squad who's going up against a Rockets team who just can't seem to get the job done at the Toyota Center. Houston's covered just 18 of 46 as the official home favorite. So all told, I don't even think we need the points. Let's just go ahead and take the Golden State Warriors winning this one outright for some even money, money line cash. All right, we're going to slide into our next game, and it is going to be... Uh, in the NHL, uh, Winnipeg at Vegas, 9 o'clock puck drop in the East. The Golden Knights are the dollar thirty-five favorites with the total at 5.5. Currently, the Jets get the 1.5 on the puck line. And at the moment, we're seeing a steady and consistent fade of the Golden Knights at home. A 10-cent move downward on the money line in favor of the Winnipeg Jets. A lot of Winnipeg backers out there in the early going. And speaking of the Jets, they've been solid on the road this year's Stanley Cup playoffs, winning four out of their last five away from home. Winnipeg's also winning nearly 70% of their games when Connor Holbuck makes the start in the net. Now, scoring-wise, five out of Winnipeg's last eight got over the line, depending on where you're shopping at, of course. Meanwhile, on the Vegas side, 5-3 and three to the over in their last eight games themselves, contingent upon where you're shopping at there as well. So with those factors in mind, those complementary factors, I think we can take advantage of a low opening total here. I'm going to go ahead and make a play on the over, 5.5 in this one. I'm also going to lean toward the underdog 
in this one as well. I think the uh, Vegas flu is cute and valid during the regular season, but uh, Winnipeg's got prostitutes and gambling in Canada too. Uh, I think they can hold off the debauchery for a couple days in the desert. So all told, I'm going to take the Jets plus a buck 15 with the over five and a half in this one.